I need this this morning. So I had a few beers last night. I feel worse for wear for the event. Probably a few too many is the correct terminology. So today, I get the last concentric reducer onto this cone and then manhandle and wrestle the cones on the tanks. I forgot my belt, I forgot my coat. <laughs> this is what happens when you're on the mucky beer. Oh yeah, this is nice. Second cone's coming along nicely. We've managed to get the concentric reducer. Hoop to hoop! Managed to get the con, <laughs> con rods on, and uh, we were a little bit big on the fit of this cylinder, this uh, cone. That's gonna fall down. It's falling down. So we had to cut a few bits of steel off because uh, it were a little bit big. So we've got some widow makers here for, for oh, you. Well, you don't want to be cutting yourself with that stuff. No. If you want it, send me a stamped address envelope. <laughs> Bad stamped <laughs> address envelope. So, yeah, I think we've managed to grind that down and the fit up once we squeeze this in should be, should yeah. be just right. It'll be fine, be right. Having been fortunate enough today to have Froggy's help once again, he is a diamond. Uh, we managed to, of course, get these two tanks with the bases on today, and this is the one that I've already welded on the inside. So you can see that we've rolled these rings and put them on the outside here. Looking at it from that angle, you can see the profile that it's given it. So this one was initially just tacked on, and what I've actually done is I've gone round and we've put a proper weld onto her and sealed up round the edge and I think it looks pretty good every single bead that I run I'm getting better and better and I'm improving every time so what I need to do now is wrestle that tank off the side pop one of these up on, on the workbench there and put the copper hoop on the inside of it knock it right up to the edge and then we're going to go and flow the outside of these joints next. The day is flying, I must admit it's already five o'clock. I'm expecting Gemma to walk through the door anytime soon. So how much more of this I'm going to get completed today, I don't know. Also a couple of menial jobs that I've got to do this week. Put in nuts and liners on these fittings and they will be the uh, it will be the elbows that that form the outlet for the tanks. I've just noticed as well, I've put my electrode down and burnt through the bag that's got all my bits in. Silly boy. This cut is fresh. Oh. What do you think to that? Gemma's here to pick me up and uh, inspect my work. She's foreman, aren't you, Doc? So, outside of the cone, can you hear the echo in here, Gem? Off the uh... echo, echo, echo. <laughs> yeah, if you like. 
So the world's a bit tighter on this one. I'm actually quite happy with it. And then I've got to go inside and weld the inside. But I think that's all we're gonna get done today. I'm not sure actually how much footage I've captured for today's vlog. Uh, I do however have to have a look at Tool Station or Screwfix website for some more welding consumables. I've got through uh, 2.4mm tungsten, I only had one of them and it started off as a big thing and now it's about that big because I keep dipping it and having to keep grinding it all the time. But I am doing, you've got to remember, metres and metres of welding around the top of here is two and a half metres. It's a long way, inside and outside, so that's five metres. And then there's the rings to weld on as well, that's another five metres. But it's coming together nicely. Right, let's get in the car, Gemma and Abigail are waiting for me, and let's shoot home. today really tired I think it's because I was out on the sauce last night do you think Gemma's made a yummy stew and she's putting some frozen peas in it aren't you me duck yeah because she likes frozen peas so haven't we come a long way from the concept of drawing those tanks on a piece of paper and making the cones out of uh, origami brewery tanks making the origami brewery tanks I think now we can actually start to see them in physical form and I managed to pick up the art of TIG welding after obviously doing about 50 metres of weld I think we may be on the road to, uh, to brewing some beer <laughs> Shall we go and sit down and watch a film? Yes. Do you want to watch? <laughs> 